tonight, you have an exceptional opportunity. I couldn't sleep last night. I was up at 2 a.m. looking up, thinking about what we're about to see and hear. Extraordinary. I hope as I talk tonight that you can identify with a lot of the aspects of this story. Being able to dream big and to think about all the problems that we can solve with STEM can start right now at the age that you are right now. Whether you are the little third grader that I was when I made this paper mache doll, or you fit in somewhere else, or you're like me now as an adult so passionate about space. Somewhere in this story, I hope you identify with what I'm talking about. I made the paper mache doll because I wanted to be an astronaut. On April 12th, I received a phone call that I was asked to be a part of the class of 2004. And then we learned how to fly in planes. Once we graduated from these, we went into the T-38 jets. I literally built like a little cockpit in my house out of cardboard with all of these switches so that I would know where every single one was. So there was a lot of studying. And then I finally got the phone call about six years later that I was assigned to a flight. And so I was assigned to the flight of STS-131. I built this in April of 1990. It was the vehicle discovery right when I got back from space camp. I flew on the vehicle discovery in April of 2010, exactly 20 years later. Your dreams can come true. I had to keep a goal. I had to keep studying. I had to let other people know what I wanted to do because you can't do it all alone. Things can happen if you dare to dream them, but you've got to put in all that extra work and, and believe. Down somewhere in your core, you have to keep believing that you can do what you want to do. So I knew I wanted to do something in math and science as I was going through middle school and high school. I had a mentor, Mr. Jordan, who was my seventh and eighth grade science teacher as well as my Mesa club advisor. And he was, like, he was the first person that saw that I had this potential. Um, it was the first time that I saw it in someone else's eyes, like reflecting back to me that I had the potential. I think if you pose it more as a problem and let kids solve problems versus like just having them memorize a bunch of facts, if you give them real problems and let them try to solve it themselves, that's what life is about. I saw a lot more success in my students when I could approach the, the, the classroom that way. is all about opportunities. Uh, we are very blessed to be in the Mead School District and have such amazing students and teachers that can create courses that will hopefully inspire your sons and your daughters. And that's basically what tonight is about. are the problem solver. They're not the memorizer, the regurgitator, they're not that. They get to be the problem solver and that's what we want them to be able to do in life. <laughs>